Welcome back. Once again we're using the moving man simulation as found on the FET website. I've already pre-constructed this position time graph and we're going to analyze the graph and decide what the original motion of the man was to create this graph. Now in the previous example we had constant velocity situations and our lines on our DT graph were straight. In this situation we've got curved lines and in fact I've got two parabolas here. We've got one parabola curling upwards up to about two and a half seconds, a little bit beyond two and a half seconds. And then we've got a parabola that curls downwards reaching an apex at about four and a half seconds all the way down to this roughly the seven second mark. So we've got a curving up parabola and a curving down parabola. Now again, the key to analyzing the motion on a position time graph is the slope. The slope of a DT graph or a position time graph is velocity and we want to look at the slope and talk it through to see if we can figure out what's going on with the motion of the man. Now let's start with our y-intercept. That's always the starting point. It's always the easiest point to look at. Our y-intercept is at minus 7. So that represents the initial position of the man as usual. So the man is starting at the minus 7 position on our number line. And now we look at the slope and decide what's happening to the man. Now on curves, the slope changes. It's steeper in this region, for example, than it is at the start. And we have to describe what's happening to the steepness of that curve. Is it getting more positive, more negative? Those are the questions we have to ask. And to do that, we construct a tangent line. Now, a tangent line on a curve touches the curve only at the one point. It's kind of like balancing on the curve at that one spot. The tangent line represents the steepness of the graph or the slope of the graph at that point. Initially, our tangent line would be flat. So if I balanced a line on this right at time zero, my tangent would be roughly flat, meaning that my initial velocity starts at zero. So our man, we're assuming, starts at rest. And then you can see, as we slide it along, my tangent line gradually gets steeper and steeper in the positive direction. So the slope of the line is getting more positive. And remember, slope is velocity, which means my velocity is getting more positive. So he starts from rest, and his velocity gradually gets more positive, up to about two and a half seconds. Now, let's run it and see how that looks. Okay, so for roughly two and a half, I've got 2.7 seconds here, you can see that he was picking up speed, picking up speed. So he's now at the zero meter mark. He started at the minus seven and gradually accelerated. His velocity was getting more and more positive. Now he's at the zero position. Now what's happening? Well, if I look at my tangent line once again, it starts positive at this 2.7 mark, and it's gradually getting less positive until it reaches zero at 4.5. So his velocity suddenly gets less and less positive until around 4.5 seconds where the velocity is zero. In other words, he's coming to a stop. He's still moving in the positive direction, but he's coming to a stop. So let's run it up to the 4.5 seconds. Okay, so it basically comes to a momentary stop. I'm not quite there, but you get the idea. Now what happens? So at this position, roughly around six and a half meter mark, his velocity is zero, and now this, you can see that the slope is getting more and more negative. So in other words, just before the apex of this curve, his velocity was positive, then it goes to zero, and now suddenly it becomes negative. He's changed directions. So he's gonna start heading back towards the left, with a velocity that's getting more and more negative all the time. So in other words, he should be picking up speed in the negative direction. Let's run it. Getting faster and faster and faster in the negative until it's over. Now, let's run it from the beginning and have a look at it all at once. Picking up speed in the positive direction, slowing down in the positive direction, changing direction, and picking up speed in the negative direction. Notice each curve represents one acceleration. There's a positive acceleration at the beginning. His velocity is continually getting more positive. 
and then there's a negative acceleration from around the 2.7 second mark all the way to the end. It's all one parabola. Negative acceleration doesn't necessarily mean you're always slowing down. It simply means your velocity starts to get more and more negative all the time. Now let's look at what the velocity graph actually looks like for this motion. Curve line, my velocity starts at zero and consistently gets more and more positive all the way up to where that curve ends. Then the velocity starts to get more and more negative. Now at this point, remember he's not changing direction, his velocity is just going back to zero. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, changing direction, and then getting faster and faster and faster in the negative. Let's run it and watch it as it goes through. Now we'll do it one more time using the slider. If I grab the slider, he picks up speed in the positive direction all the way to this point, so that must be where the upward parabola ends. So now he's going as fast as he can in the positive direction. Still going positive, but starts to slow down now. Slows down, slows down, slows down. Reaches zero, changes direction. Notice I'm at the zero on my velocity graph and the peak of my dt graph. Changes direction and starts picking up speed in the negative direction. What does my acceleration time graph look like? Well, the slope of my velocity time graph is acceleration. Describe the slope of your velocity time graph and you've described the acceleration. So if we do this in words, a positive constant slope and a negative constant slope. A positive constant acceleration and a negative constant acceleration. Let's have a look. Positive constant acceleration immediately switching to negative constant acceleration.